What's going on guys? Brandon Harden here. Hope you're having a great day. Nope, wrong intro. Good morning and welcome to another video. Nope. Well, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video with me, Matt Hall. Hope you're good. Hope you have a good week. Hope your train's on point and all that shit. Welcome back to another video. I've obviously been watching too much YouTube this morning, so I keep fucking up my intro, but welcome to the next video. This is the cutting. This is my next episode of the road to the going on a cut or whatever i've called this series i can't actually remember because i'm a div but i'm literally starting this video halfway through the day well it's half four but i'm starting the video today i'm going to show you guys i'm heading to work in a minute i'm going to show you guys what i'm taking with me so this is what i've got in my bag so i've got my sugar-free squash i've got my grenade bar i've got my phone charger got my notepad got my bcas look how fucked up that shaker is at the moment Jesus, I don't even know what's happened. I need to get a new one, but got my BCAAs in there. Basically, I am actually taking uh, BCAAs again. The only sole reason at the moment is just to keep myself, um, keep my body feeling that I'm putting stuff in my body. So obviously I'm lower on the calories. So if I drink these, if I drink these in between meals, it just makes me like feel a bit more fuller and obviously it's got a flavor to it. I'm also gonna take a monster with me as well to keep me pumped for the sessions. Forgot to put that in, but you guys know it's gonna be the purple one. What else? would i go for but i'm gonna head to my sessions now and then i am training tonight tonight is shoulders so i'm gonna take you guys with me show you my shoulder workout on this cut but yeah i'm gonna head to work now so i'll catch you guys at the gym Right then, people, so it's now the next morning. That was a good shoulder session last night. I thought I'd recap it now in the light because I get a lot of comments saying, why do you always do it in the dark? So I'm gonna recap it now. So I started off with the dumbbell press. So as you can see, my reps have gone up. So instead of doing six to eight, I'm doing eight to 10. So I actually done three sets of eight on the dumbbell press. Then I went on to some side raises. Then I done a, um, some cable side raises. So I'm really working on my side delts at the moment. Then I went into some front cable raises. And then I finished off with a shrug superset, which I think it was a really good all round workout. Like my shoulders feeling it. Uh, shoulders is an area that I do want to work on uh, a lot. So I have isolated them and put them on their own day at the moment. But it feels good at the minute, guys. Training's going well. The first week of cutting has been completed. Uh, well, now what, week and a bit in now. And it feels good, man. Like, as I keep saying, like the high volume stuff is doing well at the moment. The food is now decreasing. Um, so now we're on our deficit calories and yeah, I'm going to get on with the day now. So as you can see, the weather is pretty awful this morning. It is currently what time we sat at. It is currently 7.20 in the morning. Just got back from my 6am session. I'm now going in, going to have a nap. Then I've got an 11 o'clock session and then I'm actually going to Nando's with my friends later on which will be nice. Um, just got to make sure, obviously, if what I have at Nando's. 
the rest of the day is pretty um, boring as <laughs> such as cutting goes. But I'm going to enjoy my Nando's because man's loves, loves the Nando's. Who doesn't really? But I'm going to go in. I'm going to have a nap, wake up. And yeah, I'm going to take you through my day. But it's not going to be the most exciting day, I don't think, really. So I might take you in through to, to tomorrow as well. But I'm not going to go in and have a nap. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Right day people, quick update. So it is now the afternoon, so I went and had my 11 o'clock session. Then went to Nando's with my friends and my order today was the butterfly burger, which I've not had before, which I rated, got lemon and herb. Uh, also got five wings on the side, which was decent. And now I'm heading to the pub to watch the horse racing with my dad and his mate, and one of my mates. We're just gonna watch the Channel Festival. It's the first day today. Uh, There's already been a couple of races. I had the first winner in the first race, so I'm happy about that. Uh, start of the festival very well. But comment down below if you guys are into horse racing or anything, or if you're watching this Cheltenham Festival, and if you've had any winners, I'm always interested. Again, message me on Instagram as well. Link in the description. Follow me up for more posts. But yeah, I'm gonna head there now, and then I'll speak to you guys in a bit. Right, people, quick update now. My mentality has now changed. I've gone from chilling, watched the horse racing, played a bit of Call of Duty. It's now time to get my head in the game for the gym. So what I'm doing now is I'm just running a quick bath. Um, it's just a quick thing that I like to do sometimes when I'm a bit sore from the day before. Just before I go to the next day session, just have a quick hot bath. Just loosens all my muscles up. Um, just works good for me. If you want to try it, go for it. If you don't, it is what it is. But I'm going to have this now. I'm hitting a chest and arm workout tonight at David Lloyd with Mark. I'll try to get a couple of videos on my phone because I can't really take my camera in here in David Lloyd because they are very funny about it so I'm going to take my phone with me try to get a couple of clips for you guys if not I'll do a review after just to tell you guys what I've done but I will try and get some so that's going to be two workouts in one video guys if that isn't worth a like I don't really know what is and especially a subscribe but I'm now going to jump in the bath so I'll see you guys at the gym if not I'll speak to you after one more thing guys just before I do get in the bath just want to ask you guys a question basically I found my new laptop, I've sorted it all out. Um, got Windows 10 on it now as well. And I'm just looking at getting like a new editing software at the minute. Obviously, if you know what I edit on, I edit on Movie Maker. I'm looking at maybe getting a new one, um, but I'm not looking at getting a real expensive one, but I don't want to get a cheap one. It's kind of an investment, but I don't want anything too technical, but nothing too like shit. So if you do have any recommendations, please comment down below or again, uh, message me on Instagram. Link will be in the description. Let me know what you guys think and what you guys are using. That'd be smashing.
also that is the workout I done last night. Oh, I'm gonna drop my keys. That was the workout I done last night. So it was chest and arms. So how it works was done three chest exercises. So we started off with the flat dumbbell press, then went onto the incline machine. Uh, incline press machine, which I normally do with dumbbells or the bar, but I actually tried the machine to the, uh, last night and it felt good. Then went on to some cable flies. Then we moved on to some arms, but we done a bicep and tricep superset. So one bicep, one tricep. Then we done uh, tricep, tricep. Then we done bicep, bicep. Finished off with some abs, so it was a real good all-round workout. So it's now the next day. I've just been to m &S to get my shopping, so I'm quickly going to show you what I bought. <coughs> so I bought, start off with couple of packets of just cold meat. Uh, I went with actually one of my clients because normally I'll just go to Tesco's and get this, but she wanted to go to M&S and I was like, you know what, I haven't had M&S food for a little while. Thought I'd try it. Bought one of these bad boys, which is their uh, under 400 calorie meals that they are advertising at the moment. And I've got the beef stroganoff, which I thought looked quite nice. So I thought I'd give it a go. Then I've got some salad, side salad, and some potato salad and coleslaw. Again, I'm just only gonna portion size this because this will be high in fat. Obviously have all the salad. Gonna have that with my low fat burgers uh, in a minute. Then I picked up some pineapple just to get my fruit in. Picked up some reduced fat mayo. This is just the M&S own ones because their mayo is so expensive. I think like Heinz mayo there was like £2.50, something like that. And I was like, I'm not paying £2.50 for mayonnaise. So I picked that up for like £1.30. And then I thought I'd give these two, a couple, these two things a go because they looked quite nice to put on like, a, either have it as like a little snack. So this is like a pasta spinach in pine things. These are, what is it per packet? Mm, 100 grams is 220 calories and the whole thing is 190. So you're looking at about 400 calories in that one. And this one is 115 calories per 100 grams. And again, that's 200 grams. So what's that? 115, so that's 230 calories in that. So that would be nice to go on the side with a meal or like a wrap or whatever you're having. But yeah, that's what I've just picked up from M&S, guys. It's a good shop. Um, it's expensive, like... For what it is, I don't really go M&S a lot, but it's nice once in a while. I normally go Tesco's or Lidl, but that's what I'm going to get. I am actually going to do a video coming up. I've got a couple of videos planned. I'm going to do a video of like a full week shop on a cut. I'm going to do a Q&A, which I've asked on my Instagram. If you're not following on my Instagram, link in the description. If you want to ask me any questions, fire away or comment down in the comment section of this video. If you've got any questions, I'll answer them all or I'll try and answer as much as I can. But I am going to wrap this video up now, guys, because I think this is going to go on for so long and I need to get this edited. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it as always. If you have, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new. But the important thing is, guys, stay focused, stay positive, keep up feeling positive, and I'll see you in the next one.